Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we are going to be playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. So this is the first of two games of this, uh, not the Fire Emblem franchise, but the series itself, the Telia series. Um, and this is definitely one of the better made Fire Emblem games, to be honest. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of good uh, animations, a lot of good uh, battle sequences, the way the game plays. This is for sure one of the best. In fact, in my opinion, this is my favorite uh, Fire Emblem game ever made. Um, of course, that's just my opinion. But for me, it is my favorite Fire Emblem. I mean, obviously, there's a th few things that uh, could have been approved upon and stuff like that, as well as the next game, Radiant Dawn. You know, there's things that Radiant Dawn did better to improve upon Path of Radiance. But they also fall short in some regard as well. In any case, uh, we're going to start a new file here. Um, we are going to play on hard mode, difficult. And then we are also using random uh, stats, level up stats. So we will get the bands that will allow us to uh, trade and uh, improve upon random stats rather than fixed stats so that everyone relevels up the way they're supposed to. Well, Ike, you had enough? Alright, the prologue, mercenaries. Are you alright? Yeah, I, I'll be fine. So the sleeping prince awakens. Father, I can't believe you. I know these practice swords, but they're still heavy. You have no right to be so rough on Ike. If this is too much for the boy, he'll never make it as a mercenary. But... Yes, you don't have to worry. I told you I'm fine. Ha! You better be. Now grab your sword and get ready. What? Don't tell me you're going at it again. But... Just until I land a single blow. I'm not giving him until I get one good hit in on father. I like your resolve, like... But it takes more than a strong will to... Hmm... Aha! I knew I'd find you here. Hi, boy. What brings you here? Nothing special. You said you were going to get the boss, but you never came back. I got, pick I got picked to check up on you. Oh, sorry. I, I got caught up with Ike and my father. It's nothing. Besides, I figured I'd get a good laugh watching Ike get worked over by the boss. You look fine. What happened? Nothing at all. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You just missed it. Just a minute ago, he was out cold. This? <laughs> I'm sorry. Came at the right time, boy. You can't be Ike's sparring partner. What? Me? I'm beginning to think it would be better if he sparred with someone closer to his own skill. I understand. Thanks for your help, boy. 
Well, I don't know about this closer to his skill business, but I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready for you. Let's go! Right, so first, I'm gonna set some stuff. I'm gonna turn animations off, but I will leave the uh, game, the map animations on, of course. Um, game speed fast, message speed fast. Turn off the grid, I like it that way. It's a little bit better. More, it looks more natural. Turn my auto cursor off. I'm also gonna turn down the music just and sound effects just a little bit. I know I think it's pretty loud for you guys. Um, yeah, all right. So here we go. This is a prologue, nothing special. So let's get right into it. If you guys are familiar with the game, you guys know how, how it's done. You can do it. Boyd got nothing on. Boyd's got nothing. Take him out. Nothing. I don't have nothing. I mean, I have. I mean. So this is basic tutorial stuff. It's nothing special. Haha. <laughs> I'm not done yet. We're just getting started. So yeah, I hit him. He hits me back. After this, uh, Miss will give us a vulnerability. We'll just heal, and then we'll finish the chapter after that. That, that wasn't too bad. Boyd, you're such a loser. Shut your trap. Good work, Boyd. That's enough. Oh, alright. Your swordsmanship was decent enough, Ike. Don't forget how it felt. It won't always be this easy. I know. Now that you're done warming up, it's time for you to face me again. I was hoping you'd say that. But first, miss. Right here. Here you go, Ike. It's a vulnerary. I'd recommend using it now before you fight father. Last time, he knocked you silly. Alright, so we just move in. I don't think he attacks until we attack him first, so we'll just heal up first. Always take time to heal your wounds, even in a battle, so even small ones. By the time you think you're in trouble, it's probably too late. Don't get into that situation. So you guys can see from the damage output, even if I attack first, he won't kill me on the second strike. Give it your all! Come on, boy! You're going to give me a challenge this time around. You're ready, Ike. Here I come! And of course, on my turn, I can one strike him and it's over. Alright, let's hope for a good level. Come on, I'm looking for strength and speed specifically. That was a bad level, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I got my strength, and I got defense, but I got magic? That was horrible. Alright, we'll see what happens. Ike, you were great. Father, you were holding back, weren't you? What? Is that true? If you can tell the difference, that means you're improving. Naturally, of course. You know, I wasn't really giving it my all either. That is such a lie. Bah! So, Father, does that mean you finally admit that I'm ready? What, to join the company? To take on a job? Yeah, I mean, Boyd's already out there on the battlefield. I'm ready. I'm tired of being a trainee. Listen, the difference between you and me isn't that I'm professional. A professional who just got beat? That was just random chance. Random chance. You got a point, Ike. Alright, tomorrow will be your first day as a full-fledged mercenary. Really? But, if you think it's too much, you're back to training status. You better work hard. No problem. Watch, I'll catch up to everyone in no time. We'll see. We better head back to the fort. Everyone's waiting. Alright, there we go. So that's the first prologue. The introduction. Now we move on to chapter 1. Chapter 1, The Battle Begins. Mercenary Fort. It's where the Grail missionaries are, you know, held and rest. Good morning, Ike. Today's your first day as a professional soldier, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm ready to go. What, you are... What you are is late. The others were suited up and ready for the at the break of dawn. 
Sorry, I'll get up earlier from now on. So what's my first job? I'm taking. I'm talking with Titanium now. Wait outside until we're done. Yes, sir. Very well, Commander Grail. What well, shall we? Shall we continue? You were telling me about some bandits that needed taken care of, weren't you? Correct. The, the request comes from a nearby village. According to our reports, the bandits are not that, all that strong. I think it's best if I write and take out look. Uh, take a look. I plan on taking Oscar and Boyd along with me. Just the brothers? Hmm. Go ahead and add Ike to your team. Shinon, Getri, and I will handle the other two jobs easily enough. Titania, I'm leaving Ike in your care. I'm trusting you to show him the ropes. Understood, Commander. Come on, Ike. Let's get you set up. Alright, my first job. Captain Titania, preparations are complete and I'm ready to go. Impeccable timing. It's nice to know we can always count on you to be back. You're ready, Oscar. Don't forget about me. I'm ready for action. Is that so, boy? That's a surprise. Ha! Not today, it isn't. As of today, I'm going to be the absolute model of perfection. I need to set a good example for Ike. I'll take your word for it. Your first campaign at last. I know you've wanted this for a while. Are you nervous, Ike? I think I was more nervous last night. I could hardly sleep. This morning, I feel pretty good. It's the calm before the storm. You should try to relax. You're not going to be out there alone. Yeah, you're right. Right, everyone ready? Let's go! This is the Caldea village. This is the village of Caldea. Bands are few, but we mustn't get careless. Our goal is to take out the bandit leader in front of the large building, and then secure that building. Ike, listen up. All this stuff is old news to me, but I can give you a rookie like you a few tips. First off, don't let yourself get worked up and jump out in front of everyone. You'll just end up getting hurt. Don't try to do too much, Ike. When things get dangerous, you can, and should, rely on us. As long as you watch out for the enemy moves carefully, you'll be fine. Think of this as a training session, or a training mission. I'll do that, Oscar. Boyd, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Just sit back and watch how a professional handles things. Alright, enough chit chat, you three. We've got work to do. Alright, so here's Ike. Obviously, my horrible level makes it look not that impressive, to be honest. Uh, but we come with a sword and we have our vulnerability from before. No skills. Uh, we have Oscar, level 3 Lance Knight. Um, he is going to be one of our main paladins for the, you know, rest of the game, to be honest. Uh, he's one of those guys that you should probably use from the very beginning to the very end. But there are times where, me personally, I get a horrible Oscar and I end up dropping him anyways. Um, overall, not bad stats for a level 3 Lance Knight. Uh, biggest thing is his speed and defense. Um, he also has no skills. so. Next up is Boyd over here. He's a fighter, level 2. Great strength, speed, and defense, but his skill lacks. And then, of course, um, to me, he is a hit and miss. He's one of those characters that can level great, or he could just level like crap and you'll never use him. So, we are hoping that he levels good because in hard mode, it is difficult to um, hold some positions if you don't have a good team. And I need at least Boyd and Oscar to be pretty strong, if not one of them. Just one of them needs to be really strong. And then last but not least is our typical Fire Emblem, you know, starting out Paladin, Titania. She's level 1. Her stats do not scream strong as far as uh, starting Paladins. I will not deny. Not only, is, not only do females in general have less build, uh, less constitution in other games, but you know, for the most part, she loses her speed because of that, and her stats don't scream super strong. Now, for the early game, she is strong, though. Like, I mean, easily she can take out these guys, look at this, no problem. But, for the late game, she is pretty bad. Unless she gets lucky and levels up good. But, for the most part, people like Oscar and other guys will uh, surpass her without any issues. But it's not to say she is not good, right? Um... She has the uh, skill counter, in which cer certain circumstances he causes enemies to take half the damage it deals to the unit. Um, I have only seen it activate once before, so very rare will it uh, actually activate. In any case, so 
for the most part, we don't want to use Titania to kill everything because she won't get EXP. So we need to rely on our other units. Um, this first unit here is not too bad. Um, how much attack does he have? 13, 13. Uh, we have to watch out for these guys. Um, I thought in hard mode we couldn't do this, but I guess we can. So we can see the enemy's visual ranges. I could be wrong. I know in Radiant Dawn we, sh we we're not allowed to, but I guess in here we are. Um, so if we move in too close, we're going to get uh, struck down. So we definitely want to stay out of range if we can. We could probably just use Ike to kill everybody because everyone has 13 attacks. So. If I takes on everyone, then we should be fine. And then, of course, there's Boy too. I mean, if we check out Boyd's stats, he too can survive all three hits from enemies as well. Uh, he also does half damage to that fighter. He does half damage to this one too. So, what we could do is actually have Boyd here and Ike there. So, I'll use Titania to visit this village first. Uh, I'm not going to really read the dialogue for the villages, so it really doesn't matter. So we got a steel sword, I can use that. Oh, and last thing, uh, so again, we chose in the beginning random level up stats, so we get these bands here. Paladin band, armlet that when equipped alters the direction of a level upgrade, it contains the essence of a paladin. So uh, Boyd and Oscar both have bands, Oscar has the paladin band obviously to level up more like a paladin would. And of course, Boyd has the fighter band, which would uh, dictate level ups in towards the fighter. Uh, they only increase stats by 5%, I believe. And then it's only two stats usually. So I think the fighter band is HP and strength, if I remember correctly. I'm not entirely sure. I probably should look this up before I continue playing too far. Uh, but for now, we're okay. So for now, they can just hold their own bands for now. It's not too important until we get more characters. What's going on out there? Is there some sort of army? Ha! A bunch of mercenaries looking for their next meal. The villagers must have hired them. Listen up lads, hurt them, and hurt them bad. Let's, we let this bunch live and we'll have hordes of hard swords hounding us the rest of our days. It's those fool villagers. They think they can buy a bunch of cell swords to chase us away. It ain't going to work out how they want it. All they get through the trouble is a bunch of ruined houses. Tear them down, boys. That'll teach them. So unfortunately, you can't save this village. It's impossible. It's scripted. Alright, so first fighter attack Boyd. I strike back. Other fighter decides to attack Ike. Unfortunately, he put himself in a spot where the uh, farther bandit will not actually attack us, which sucks. Right, and then everyone else moves out as well. So this guy is one space away from this village. We need to move out fast so we can rescue it. So what we're going to do here is probably... <coughs> Excuse me. Titania kills this guy no matter. He, she pretty much kills everybody in one round. So that's something we need to concentrate on not doing let's see so if we use Oscar first we could clear this path out perfect so he hit both times sometimes he'll miss all right and then we can move in with Ike of course I am in range of the sword but that's all right now we can use Boyd to attack this one. And I'm going to move Titania in and block the path and unequip my weapons as well. So she can get the village on the next turn as well as, uh, you know, not engage and kill anybody. And I will get this kill as well. Which levels me up, please give me some speed. Strength and speed, that's what I'm asking for. Nice, there you go, that's the level up I want to see. Right, 
I forgot that those guys. So now they're actually blocking my path. Um, that's not good. Because now Titania can't actually get the village. Uh, oh boy. I wonder if the bandit attacks us first instead of the village. That's not good. So what I may have to do is maybe attack and kill one, unfortunately. And then uh, rescue the village myself. So I didn't do that right. I didn't do that right for sure. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can actually do that. So you know what? We're just going to kill him. So we'll kill this one. If I hit. And then I'm going to block the village. Like that. So what I can do over here is, since these guys can only do 7 damage, I'm assuming these guys are the same. They are. So 14 damage. I'm going to use Ike over here. So that way both bandit, uh, both the fighter should reach me, right? Yeah. So both of these guys should probably go after me and not Titania. Probably. So these guys both do 8 and 9 damage, so that's only 17. Boyd will be okay by himself. And then of course Oscar's here as well. So I'll have Oscar just wait for now, since he can't really do anything. And hopefully, yeah, that hopefully they don't attack Titanium. No, he blocked the way. Why would he do that? Come on. You stupid fighter. So that that bandit will probably end up attacking Titania because uh, Ike's not in range anymore. Yeah. Oh my god, what an idiot. Miss. <laughs> Somehow miss. I don't think she has a miss. I think she has a 100 hit rate. So that's unfortunate. She gets a kill and she only got 1 EXP. Whereas the rest of these guys would get more. So I definitely screwed that up. Let's get the village anyways. The Seraph Rogue. Alright. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to have a Titanium Retreat. Um, Ike can finish this guy off, no problem. Yeah, that was really bad. How much damage does this guy do? 7 damage. Yeah, I can kill him in 3 hits. So, you know what? We can use Oscar. My work here is done. This house is total. Time to move on to bigger things. Now I smash me some mercenaries. Oh, he's attacking Boyd anyways. Surprisingly, he attacks Boyd considering that uh, Oscar is a lance and he has an advantage against lances. So, alright. Um, that's fine, I guess. I can't reach, so we'll just move him up. So I'll use Boyd first and I'll get Oscar the kill. Nice dodge. He dodged twice. That's incredible. Alright, Oscar gets the kill and he'll move back up towards the top to attract the mercenary that's up there. Actually, here. We need to give Ike the sword. So Oscar is really good against the mercenary since he's a lance and he has enough speed so he doesn't get doubled. Alright, cool. We got an iron sword. That doesn't really matter. I don't think I can survive a hit right now, so that's going to be troublesome. Oh, you can. Never mind. So we're actually set. Um... So I'll just pinch away at this guy. Uh, you looking for you looking for something, fool? You looking for a fight? Yeah, and you came to the right place. I'll give you a tussle. So as long as we keep hitting the guy, he won't be able to recover, and we'll be looking pretty good. So Boyd can actually take two hits. Let's attack. If I get a crit, that'd be great. Boyd's first level. Here we go. Please be good. 
Oh my god, what an amazing level. There you go. Holy crap. We're looking really good. Right, so I'm just going to put everyone close. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. I'm gonna back off now because I don't want to risk dying. Um, so we could either give the kill to Ike or we could give it to Oscar. I'm actually gonna give it to Oscar. If he can hit, that is. So I do want Oscar to level up as soon as possible because he is my gonna be one of my stronger units. I meant for better than this. I don't want to die here, but you did. Alright, so hopefully Oscar gets a good level as well. Speed, defense, and resistance. So, more defensive. I don't mind the speed and defense. That's great. Resistance is... It's whatever. Uh, so that's it. We seize the map, and that's the end of chapter 1 as well. That's the end of it, Ike. Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. You know, I'm, you surprised me to think that you've come so far. Look at my father, though. I've still got a long way to go. There's nothing you can do about that. After all, Commander Grail is... Huh? What about my father? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Now I'm really curious. Don't worry, you'll learn about it someday. Hey Ike, that wasn't too bad for your first battle. Not as flashy as my first time, though. Yeah, you were a real standout. I never forgot to say of you so keyed up you broke your own axe. Oscar, dang it! You didn't have to bring that up. Anyway, Ike, congrats on finishing your first mission. Welcome to the group. Everyone's alright? Then let's get going. I'm sure Miss has a nice hot meal waiting for us. Alright, so bonus EXP turns to clear. Um, bonus EXP is applied uh, later on. It helps us level up. Probably won't be too important. Not as important in this game as it is in the next game, to be honest. Chapter 2, Rescue. The Mercenary Fort. Oh, Titania, so, th so this is where you've been, is it? Riss, are you sure you're not well enough to be up? Yes, my fever's completely gone. Are you sure? You still look a bit unsteady on your feet, if you ask me. Well, I've been in bed m almost a week. I doubt anyone would be in top form, even you, my friend. I certainly hope that's all it is. In any case, until you're back at full speed, you won't be doing any work. We're mercenaries, after all. And even the smallest laps invites death, right? I know, I know. My apologies to the rest of the team, then. It looks like I'll be recuperating for a while longer. Hmm, it's for the best. Take your time and fully, get fully rested and restored. You are our sole staff you wielder, Riss. The harder you, our work, the more we depend on you to be at our sides. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, by the way, that paper you've been carrying around, is that a letter? I had intended to go into town this afternoon. I can deliver it for you if you like. Oh no, this letter is for you, Titania. For me? Uh, not more than a while ago, I went out for a walk around the yard, and a man I've never s seen before came up to me and said, Give this to the Red Trest Knight. How curious. I wonder what it is. I imagine it's a thank you letter from the people of Caldea or something up to that effect. Oh, no! How dare they! Titania, what's the matter? What does the letter say? Riss, take this letter to Oscar and tell him to prepare for combat and wait for me. I have to go out for a moment. But Titania? I'll be right back. I'm counting on you. What on earth could that letter have said? What has happened? Everyone, come quickly. Hey, Riss. How are you feeling? What is it? Why are you so agitated? Has something happened? It's Miss and Rolf. They, they've been taken by bandits. What? What are you talking about? The two of them went out early this morning to gather wildflowers. Sure, they're not back yet, but... Earlier by the gate, a man asked me to deliver a letter to Titania. It was from a group of bandits, kidnappers. What are we going to do? Let me see it. Well, if only I'd known. He didn't seem like a bad person. Hmm, I get it. They're after revenge. They want retribution for the other day at the village. Caldea, was it? I'm taking children and taking ho children as hostages? What cowards. Blast! Wait, Ike, where do you think you're going? I'm going to get missed. But no, Titania, she says she'll be right back. You're supposed to get ready and wait for her. And do you honestly think we've got time to wait? I'm going. 
What do you think you're going to do on your own, rookie? Oh, right, I'm going too. Stop, both of you. I'm, I'm going with you. Oh, come on. Wait, this is crazy. Do you think you can just ignore the deputy commander's orders? The road force here. Well, which way do we go? How am I supposed to know that? Hold it, you said you're, you're, you're... Are you saying you don't know where we're going? Unbelievable, you better learn to think before you act, you moron. Shut your mouth, boy. You think you can make me? Come on! Both of you, this is no time to be fighting. I figured we'd find you like this. What are you two doing? So you're coming after all? That's that's not like you two chamber, chamber maids. Cha chamber maids. Chamber maids. <laughs> To be disobeying orders? What's the world coming to? Oscar, you know this road, don't you? Which way do we go? You're going to the Bandit Stronghold, right? The left fork. Got it. I'm still talking here. Wait, let me finish. What I... Come on, Oscar. Let's go, too. Guess we've no choice. Hey! You're not leaving me behind. The Bandit Hold. Small little house on the on hill. <laughs> So you came, did you boys? Is it just you then? You came alone? I seriously underestimate what we're capable of doing to you. Now where's that snobby red-haired wretch you ride with? Titania's not here, it's just us. All I want to know right now is whether Mr. Rolf are safe. Yeah, of course. We got him locked up safe and sound in that little shack back there. We got no problem with those brats. What we're after is a little revenge. We want the redhead and her pups. That'd be you boys. And hurry up and let those two go. We're here, aren't we? You got more, no more reason to hold them. You're here. We're ready. We just keep the brats until she arrives. Dang it! If you're so impatient, I guess we can start by killing you, whelps. You all ready to die? Come out! It's time to play, lads. <laughs> there are so many, but we must not lose. Riz, move to the rear. If anyone gets injured, we'll need you on hand with your staff. Understood. Take them, lads. Without the red-haired knight, they're a match for us. What'd you say, dirtbag? We'll make you regret those words. Alright. So this chapter, kind of difficult just because of the amount of enemies. Uh, what we want to do is start by... Basically, we want to maybe just draw these guys in. So we use Ike to attack both of these guys. Um, I don't think I'm faster. Yeah, I'm not faster than if I use my steel sword. I have to use my iron sword. Um, so that's like that. This guy will be attracted by Boyd here. Boyd should be able to kill him by himself, actually. Let's see. So I actually do double. So that's actually really good. Um, but I don't want to be engaged by both guys, right? So I should be able to actually kill both. So if I put Boyd here... We should be fine. And then Oscar and I can take out these guys over here. And the risk is stay right here. So we should be okay like that. Oh, sniff. Rolf. Cry baby. Keep your chin up, Rolf. Boys aren't supposed to cry. But I'm so scared. Aren't you even a bit scared, miss? Of course I am, but listen, we'll be fine. My brother will definitely come rescue us. Yeah, you're right. And I'm sure that my brothers will be right there with him. I'm sure they will too. Say no more... So no more crying. Got it? Alright, here we go. Don't miss. Excellent. Really going to depend on Boyd to do some good work. He already got one good level, so... Really happy to see that. Hopefully it continues. Dodge, dodge, dodge. God damn it, I... <laughs> you would think he would dodge at least once, right? I don't think this sword guy can do much damage to Ike. Let's see, 10. So he does 4 damage to me. He does not double me. So that's pretty good. Uh, so that means if we kill these guys, we won't have any issues. So Oscar will kill this one. And then 
whether or not Ike attacks both or not. Or no. I'll kill this one with Ike, actually, yeah. And then, uh, I don't care who the missionary attacks, as long as he gets hit. And then the rest of these guys don't matter, so we're just going to heal here. Uh, just, oh, I forgot. Here's Riss, he's a level 4 priest. Um, good magic, obviously, but otherwise very fragile. He will die to pretty much anybody at all. Uh, he comes with the priest ban, which will, I think, increase his luck and resistance. If I think, if I remember correctly. Um, his skill serenity doesn't actually matter in this game. Biorhythm's not as big as it was, as it is in Radiant Dawn, so don't need to worry about the biorhythm at all, but um, he is our healer. He's going to stay in the back. Um, I never use him ever, so probably won't be seeing too much of him. Um, so there's nine. This one is nine. So they do eight each if I'm on this thicket, so that's fine actually. I'm going to move here and just use a volume. I do double these guys as well. That one speed is helping a lot. And the guy decides to attack Ike. Kind of expected. And I will level up as well. Level 4. There we go. HP, strength, speed, and defense. Perfect level. I want to see that all the time. Alright, Boyd should level. Yes, he does. Come on, let's go for another level. Good level. HP, strength, skill, resistance. So, we got three. HP, strength, and skill. I like that. The resistance, kind of whatever. I'm sure I told them to wait for me. I should have known they disobey orders. They have no discipline. As deputy commander of the Grail Missionaries, I cannot allow any more of our people to be harmed. But again, we're not going to use Titania. She's too strong. She doesn't need to fight any of these guys. So, you know, keep her in the back. Um, so, Boyd's doing a good job. He could double and kill this guy as well. So, that I, again, I am going to rely on Boyd to do a lot of work. In fact, I don't even need to um, use his vulnerary. I can just heal here. There we go. So, when that guy comes in, he should attack and die. We're going to have Oscar get this kill. Whenever Oscar can get one-shot kills... Uh, it'll help because you can save his lance usage. And everyone else can move up. Uh, again, Titania just stay back. Boy, would it kill you to dodge? <laughs> Alright. So that takes care of all the beginning guys. Um, the only ones left are the uh, top of the hill people. Again, they're all relatively the same, so Boyd can actually take care of everybody for us. Because again, I want Oscar and Boyd to get majority of the XP. Uh, Boyd specifically because uh, we have Titania who uses axes. Um, because I don't really want her doing all the work, I can have Boyd do more work and level up sooner. Obviously, I want Ike to get a couple levels as well because he is going to be one of our main units. So let's move everyone up together. Oh look, they're coming at me. Okay. Uh, as long as boys not in range of the sword user, right? That's all that matters. So I can kill this guy, hopefully. Ow. Boy, dodge something. <laughs> so I, in fact, I'll even draw this guy in with Ike. I think if I use my skill sword, I won't double. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna use the iron. Forget it. <laughs> Ow. So I bring him down to 2 HP. I probably should have used the steel sword. I probably would have attacked once. Oh boy, everyone's coming at us. Okay. So what we could do is have Oscar attack first. 
Oscar can kill this one, back off, and then take on the mercenary. So Oscar gets another level. Here we go. Please be good. HP strength. So he's now had two pretty bad levels. That's not good at all. Um, what we can do is actually have Oscar move back. This guy should fight Ike. Oh, you know what? Ike does kill him. So you know what? That's fine, I guess. No, you know what? I want Oscar to kill. Uh, we need Oscar to level up more since he's not leveling up good. Alright, so we'll just do that. Yo, Boyd. And then we should be able to fight off the rest of the enemies as they come at us. So we're good. So Oscar, kill this guy. I'll just leave Boyd right here. As long as I'm not in attack range, we'll be okay. I don't think they do too much damage to me, right? Six and eight, so yeah, I can actually put Ike in this thicket here. One will attack most likely Ike, and the other will attack Void. So that's actually perfect. We won't lose, not to the likes of you. Nice dodge. He dodges the boss of all the guys, right? That's pretty funny. Alright, so if we work together, I think Oscar should get the kill. But that's if we hit. 68%? Oh, shit! He got a crit! <laughs> okay. This can't be. I don't deserve to lose to sell swords like you. Wow, that was shocking. Alright, let's see if Boy gets another good level. Wow, that was actually surprising. Holy crap, another good level. The only bad thing is not getting skill, but that's okay. The strength, speed, and defense is amazing. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, Boy is leveling amazingly. Um, well, in that case, I guess I'll just get Oscar this kill then. Wow. Wow, 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 that's crazy. Alright, and that's the end of the chapter. Alright, somehow we did it. Somehow? What do you mean, somehow? You did it because we're better than them. Boyd, calm yourself. What you did was a direct defiance of the orders I explicitly gave you. How it turned out is all another issue. Together. Deputy Command, I take full responsibility. Failure is mine. Accept our apologies. Oscar, Riss, what am I supposed to do with you two? <sighs> and I think I'll leave you two to the Commander. He'll know how to handle you. I'm sure. Now let's find Miss and, Miss and Rolf. According to the Bandit Chief, they're in that shack back. Eek! What? Miss? Please let us go. I said let us go. Miss! Brother! Everyone came! Oh, I'm so scared. Rolf! Oscar, help me! Rolf, I'm here too. Boy? Ah! <laughs> Stop crying. You don't need to worry. I'll get you out of there. That's right. Buck up, buddy. Uh, I'll try. You, harm any of them, either of them, and I'll see you dead. Shut up. Shut your staking trap. If you want to see these two alive, you'll throw your weapons down. If you don't, start with the girl. No. Stop. Wait. Huh? Yeah. I'm putting my weapons down. See? Heh. <laughs> Smart move, wrench. Deputy Commander. We're here to save them. Now all of you, back off. Okay. Dang. This stinks. Heh <laughs> Alright. So now you're all unarmed, which means all I can do is watch while I cut this whiny brat like a f fatling pig. Ah! Huh. Rolf, can you hear me? Miss, is Rolf, is he? He's fine, he just fainted is all. There's not a scratch on him. Whew, don't do that to me. 
I'm just glad you're both alive and well. And you're both so brave. Yep, thanks. This guy's dead. This arrow. Who shot it? A single arrow right between the eyes. Who else can make a shot like that? No one, that's who. That voice. Don't you children owe me a little gratitude? I did just save your lives. Deputy Commander, shit on. Ugh. Ugh, you're so cruel. With this armor on, you know I can't run that fast. Shit on. Gaytree. That's where you went, Titania. Of course. I knew we needed reinforcements. I'm glad I wasn't wasting time. Well done, both of you. So in the end, I got to feather someone. So it was worth the rush. All I did was sweat. That was hard work. Brother! Miss, you did so well, sis. You must have been frightened. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I never stopped believing. I knew I knew that you and the others would come and rescue us. I knew you'd come. So I was fine. Really? That was an improvement on your usual sobbing and nose running. You jerk! My nose does not run. Alright, come on, let's head for home. My goodness, what a day this has been. Alright, bonus XP. Yay. Chapter 3, Pirates Aground. Back at the mercenary fort. You want to see me, father? Sit down, Ike. We haven't had a chance to speak yet. Titania told me what happened while I was gone. And about the kidnappings. About my own men disobeying Titania's direct orders. I was the one who left first. I'll take res responsibility for everything. No fair playing the Maytier. Maytier? Martier. Nobody made me go with you. I left on my own free will. I'm ready to set my punishment too. Wait, what am I saying? Please, Commander Grail. Titania trusted, us, trusted me with her orders. If anyone was to blame for this mess, it's me. I'm the one who should be punished. I set a poor example, Commander Grail. Any punishment should be mine alone. I'm pleased to see that you're all willing to shield one another. However, regardless of your reasons, you disobeyed the orders of a superior officer. You are confined to quarters for 10 days. But Father... They did what they did to help me and Rolf. Rules exist for a reason, miss. Men won't survive on a battlefield if they do as they wish without so much as a, as a buy your leave. I understand, and I set the reprimand. That being said, we got more work than we can handle. Your punishment is deferred until things calm down. Oscar, Boyd, Riss, you come with me. Shinon, Ketri, and you, Ike, you're with me. Yar har ho! My belly's emptier than the first mate's head. Fetch me some grub. Port Talma. That's the pirate ship in question, isn't it? Aye, they sailed into port a few days ago, and I've been causing trouble ever since. I pray you and your commands can drive them away. I understand. We'll do all we can. Feathering sea scum is like shooting apples off a tree. Let's do the job and get out of here. Oh, Deputy Commander, you, you want uh, you want standard thunder and lightning maneuvers here? Or er, thunder and lightning? Yeah, I crash into it like thunder and Shinon rains arrows down like lightning. Sounds good. What should I do? Let's hold back and let Shinon Gatry soften them up. Once we're once they've whittled down the numbers, we'll crush we'll rush the ship and wipe out whatever's left. Are you all ready? Go missionaries, move out! On my way. Here we go. Ready. Alright, so this is the first time we get to do bow preps. Um, obviously, we can't choose Oscar, Boyd, and Riss for this mission. Uh, but we can reposition our units. Uh, not that it really matters, though. Uh, Gaytree will still rush up the middle. Shinon, I'm trying not to use him as much as I can. He does have the skill Provoke. So per he, the enemies will attack him first. So what we can do is unequip his weapons and he'll take uh, attacks. Um, Ike can then shoot, the, uh, shoot, uh, can, uh, strike them down as well. So, same thing with Titan, but unequip her as well. So, uh, we can also set up our items here as well, so we can, if we need items from the other guys, we can trade them away. Um, I don't think anyone would be, really Gate Tree's the only one who will level, but, I don't really need him. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever finished a game with him. In the end, 
I've used him, you know, I, I obviously will use him, but never, like, finish using him throughout the entire game. He's good, but, you know, that's kind of all he's good for is just being a straight up uh, tank. Um, uh, oh boy, let's see. Um, I think we're okay on weapons, so we should be fine here. I'm gonna trade vulnerabilities. Let me True, boy. Just in case. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, I guess we're okay, as is. So let's just save and go. Alright, okay, this will probably be the last chapter for this video. So this is all just the beginning stuff, of course, so... Pretty typical stuff. Alright, so, like I said, I'm gonna probably just send Gatru in. Uh, should be able to take on all these guys with 14. So they only do one damage to me because they have a weapon triangle advantage. Should be able to move under the side, right? Yeah. So we can move right here in the middle. And they should all attack me. Including the archer. Um, these bandits. A little husky, huh? Uh, because my Ike didn't get, you know, the best levels. Might be a little scary to attack them all right now. Uh, I do believe you still finish them in two shots, right? Oh, no, we don't. So that's good. Actually, we can use Titania here, and then I can finish her or finish this one off. That's actually perfect. Look at that. And then the bandit should attack Ike on his their turn. So that's actually really good. Um, as for this guy, I'll just keep him right here. So I'm just gonna unequip my bow. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. So I'm probably going to kill the archer with Ike, but we'll see. I could take my time right now. Oh, look at that. He doubles the pirates and he killed it. Will he do the same for this next one? That'd be great if he does. That's what I thought. Okay, so he can't. Um, it is some RNG uh, enemy stats, and this is one of those circumstances where I was able to kill one, but I could not kill the other. Uh, because of these circumstances here... Hmm... Well, let's see. This guy does six and four. That's ten. I'll have. If I move Shin on back, they might multi attack him instead. So if we use Ike here, I cannot kill the archer anyway. So you know what? I'm going to have Titan just kill the archer. That way I don't have to waste too much time. Uh, we want to get on the boat as soon as possible because there is someone we will see very shortly. So yeah, I'll use... Oh man, that sucks. I don't want to get too many hits. So we'll use I here to attack this, the mercenary. We'll use Gate Tree to move back. He'll attack this one. And then whoever the pirate attacks, uh, most likely will be Shinon because he has Provoke. So yeah, we need to go up there and talk to Marcia. Hey, you boat monkey, you tricked me, didn't you? Tricked ya? What a vile, nasty thing to say to be saying. Don't do you agree, matey? Yeah, yeah, that I do. There'd be nothing but honest pirates aboard this ship, Missy. You said you knew where the whereabouts of my older brother. That's why I came all the way to your ship. I and we do. He was on board for a while, and then do you recall where he went, Maggie? Yeah, I do. He was a painless oaf, so he tossed his worthless carcass onto the rolling waves. Yar, oh. My brother, that's horrid. 
Horrid, you... Did you say horrid? Your scurvy brother was the horrid one. He lost a game of chance, did he? He did. If ye lose, ye must pay. And Scallywag tried to cheat me, but Shanty Pete he did. Arr, calm yourself, me hearty. Arr, arr, yar, yar, har, <laughs> whatever he says. After all this, darling sisters come to piss a bit. I wonder if they work off your brother's debt. What say I run you through with my lance and call it a day? Yo, har, yo, ho, har. That matters not that ye be a Pegasus Knight, lassie. A wee minnow like yourself is no match for us sea dogs. Prepare yourself, ye flying wretch. Pfft, I'm not afraid of you, clam bake. <laughs> If your axe is as dull as your wit, this will be over in no time. That's oh, so we gotta get up there. Hopefully she dodges. Oh, she got hit. She got hit twice. So that's not good. Because if I... If she dies, then I don't think we get her later. She better heal. I wish she would just fly away, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh my god. She does double that guy, so that's fine. Oh my god, they all attacked. Yeah, she needs to dodge. She needs to dodge some attacks. So she does heal. But she didn't feel heal full, so that's not good. Uh, we need to get up there. I'm full, eh? Yeah, okay, so I'm full. Uh, I really hope she doesn't die. Really hoping she doesn't die here. Because uh, this is Marcia, level 5 Pegasus Knight. We don't get her yet, but she will come back later in the game and we will get her. Uh, she is one of the units I always use, so we definitely want to have her with us. What's the objective? Defeat the boss. So we want to try and kill these guys off. If we can. One, two, three, four, right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I actually, if I had moved here, the guy with the hammocks might have attacked me. Yeah, he probably would have attacked me because I would have. So I probably should have shoved this guy with Gaytree instead and then move shit on up. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, so now they're unfortunately still going to be attacking Marsh too. That's not good. Alright, so I want them to attack Gaethje though, so you stay there. So that one's healing. That's good. That's good. That's one less enemy attacking. She got hit again. I need her to dodge. I need her to really dodge right now. Thank you. Thank you. She's alive. Alright, we're good. Once the enemies start healing, they should keep healing until the world ring is gone. So hopefully, if I move up and talk to her with Ike, uh, the two that are wounded now should heal, and then the two with the hand axes should attack me from range. I shouldn't die. Not to mention I have Shin on up there as well to provoke them. So we should be okay. Oh, crackers, there's too many of them. I don't want to die here. Brother, this might be the end. Hey, are you alright? So cold, so... Huh? Don't give up. Who are you? I'm a mercenary. The villagers hired us to get rid of these pirates. Are you... Are you going to help me? Of course. Let me and my companions take it from here. You can escape while the pirates are, pirates are distracted. Oh, hey. That would be fantastic. Thanks so much. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. It's all in a day's work. Sha, you're helping me out. I should I should show you my gratitude somehow. That's nice, but I can think can't think of anything off the top of my head. Just get yourself somewhere safe, please. Well then, I'll come talk to you about paying. Uh, I'll come talk to you about repaying my debt later. What's your name, handsome? Well, I'm Ike. I'm with the Grilled Missionaries. Ike, got it. And I'm Marcia, a Pegasus Knight of Benyon. Don't forget me. All right, I'll be seeing you later. All right, so that should be fine. Shannon will move up as well. He should be able to attract the enemies. For us, and then of course, Gaethje will finish off this guy. Don't miss. Cool. And then 
since I can't move up as well, I might as well have my axe out anyway, so I can't do that. Alright. So yeah, they, that one keeps healing. The other bandit should heal too, most likely. If he does, then that's actually better, because that could kill him. So he doesn't heal, instead he decides to attack Shinon, so that's great. Alright, uh, Gechi can't reach this turn, so he'll just be right there. In this circumstance, I suppose, I will just attack you. Let's dwindle down their numbers for now. Nice level. No strength, but that's, that's totally fine by me. Wow. Great level. Um, I am going to trade out his sword and use the steel. Shinano will still wait there. So there's no rush because the objective is to kill the boss. And as long as we don't do that, the mission will end. So they are attacking Shinon. That's fine. He's not going to die. He's too strong. So I'm going to move him over here now. I'm going to use Gatry to help. Um, so he can actually kill this one. It's perfectly fine by me. He should get a first level. There we go. Let's see what he gets. Level 10. HP, strength, and skill. Not the best, but you know, I'll take it. Three stats he could use, so that's totally fine. Alright, so I'll just attack the hand axe guy since they're both going to probably attack Shin on again. Most likely. Yeah. Alright, so I think I think the sword is trapped there. If we move Gaytree up one. He shouldn't be able to move down. Oh, in fact, I actually killed the guy, so that's actually pretty funny. So, you know what? We'll just move Shinon back, move Gaytree up, and we'll kill this one. And I should be able to kill the other one as well, in one shot. So that's actually perfect. I have 23 attack. Um, so that's 17. No, I actually don't kill him in one shot. The other one was just weaker. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, in that case, I'm going to trade out his lance. Use the iron one. That way Ike can get the kill. I'd rather have Ike get the kill. Because Ike will be needed more than Gaytree will be. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's yeah, that's accurate. Uh, I don't know if they'll attack me there. That's the boss. Yeah, har har! You busted my gut. You went to school. Do y'all think you can face me, my axe, and live? I dodged. Holy crap. That's actually surprising. Alright, so... We do... Good damage. Uh, I would like to kill these two as well. Oh, this guy also has a Thief Man we can get, so that's cool. Um, he has 17 attack. I have, so that will do 8 damage to Shinon. Alright, so we want to move Shinon right here. I'll oh, move get Gaytree down here as well. Alright, so the boss can attack us from all these spots. Um, I will use Ike here to track these guys in. Hopefully the boss does not go after me. You guys, that might, might be uh, bad, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> that might be bad. So he does go after Shinon because he has the provoke. And I do dodge, that's perfect. Hand axe. Nice dodge. 
Yeah, I'm trying to get as much EXP as I can. Alright, level up for Ike. Let's go. Level 6. HP skill. So, weak level, but based on his other levels, not too bad, I guess. Um, instead of skill, I wish he got strength, speed, or defense, but that's okay. Alright, so the boss can't touch me right now. I guess I'll just attack him. Kill this guy. I do not. That's actually perfect. Then. Does he have Volnery? No, he doesn't. So I can attack him with Titania, and then kill him with Ike. Yeah, and then if the boss is still alive after Gate Tree fights, then we should be. Oh no, he has a hand axe, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, Shion got hit. So what we'll do is we'll have Shinon shove Ike that way. We we'll use Titania. Move over here. Unequip, and then we we'll use Gaitry. Yeah. And then if he attacks Titania, then I can get the kill. I'd rather have Ike get the kill. Perfect. Move back, and then Ike will finish him off. Steel Sword! Give back what you stole from the good folk here and set sail. Yar har har! Now I, now I know you're touched in the head, Bassy. We show him our accident and say, Arr, the gold and grub come raining down. Will not be giving up, giving this up? I see, well, it looks like I have to rely on force, ar force of arms then. Bam, you did. Yar har, help me. Perfect. Level up on my sword as well as the thief band. We've driven off the pirates. Your people will suffer no more indignities at their hands. Oh, this is joyful news. Here is your pay, as promised. Thank you very much. And if you find yourself in need again, do not hesitate to send word. Of course, of course. While we put up most of our marvelous show, such combat skills. To be honest, I was expecting Commander Grail to be here today. When I saw just you, nothing more than no, nothing more than no. Offense, a band of children. Well, I will admit to being a tad nervous. I apologize for troubling you. Fortunately, Commander Grail had other pressing matters to attend to. Oh no, don't apologize. There's no need after all. You got rid of those brigands, and you did impeccably well. It's a fine compliment you pay, sir. But it was our pleasure. As a matter of fact, you're no more than good enough to be in the Royal Army if you decide so. Especially your Commander Grail. He's far way better. Far and a way better than most than any general I've seen where about hereabouts here what I mean to say is I don't think running off pirates is a bit don't you think running off pirates is a bit beneath you that's not don't get me wrong now you certainly helped all the civil folk out even so it seems the proper place for you and your commander is the service of the uh, Crimean throne well that's what this old man thinks we and commander grail are quite satisfied with the work we do now you're in you're in Arius. You've nary a selfish bone among you. Well, well then, rest assured we'll speak again if any problems arise. Thank you again. Hmm. Titania, is something amiss? No, of course not. Our mission is complete, and that's all that matters. You did well today, every one of you. Ha! Jobs like this make barely make a dent in my incurable boredom. It's like that old buzzer said, there's better work out there. Something's, something with a bit of a challenge. Shit on. I'm joking. J O K E. Come on, Titania. Be honest, don't you find the work we do a bit disheartening? Unglamorous? What? You too, Gaytree? What's gotten into you? Please. Look, we're a band of money-hungry recruits. We're professionals. We're not a band of hungry, money-hungry recruits. We're professionals, and we're very good at what we do. She and I have discussed this at length. All of this mundane missionary work is unworthy of us. We're wasting our talents. I see. You're telling me that you think Commander Grail is mismanaging us? Do, you, do I have that right? Whoa, hold it right there. 
That's not what I'm saying at all. What is that, Titania? What's what? You seem so angry, it's not like you. <laughs> exactly, I shot the right of it. It's just that I... Look, we do good work, we help people. I want you to be proud of that. It felt like you were saying work that doesn't bring fame and fortune isn't worth doing. That's all. Sorry. No, you're right. We are the ones who ought to apologize. Enough. Let's get going, shall we? Rest is part of our jobs, too. We can't go into the next battle exhausted. Now that's a plan. I'm so hungry I could eat a wyvern. Titania! What is it? If you're looking for pride, I have it. Hmm? You and my father have kept this mission in a group together, and I'm just proud to be part of it. That's all. Ike. Ha! I'm surrounded by idealistic fools. What's so wrong with fame? What's wrong with having money to live well? So if you guys don't know, Shannon's kind of a asshole. <laughs> to just put it lightly, to be honest. Chapter 4, Roadside Battle. Back at the Mercenary Fort. Ike! Ike, I gotta tell you something. Listen to this. Settle down, miss. It's too early to be yelling like that. Now what's going on? Soren's back. He's just arrived. Really? That's odd. He wasn't supposed to return for a while yet. I know. I wonder what he's doing back so soon. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll go talk to him. Where is he? In the mess hall. I think he wanted to talk to Father. Right. I'll go check there. Troubling news indeed. Gather the troops. Yes, Commander. Ike, if you got time to waste, you got time to work. Get over here. Get over to the briefing room. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on around here? Bad news. Something big is happening, and we need to formulate a plan of action. Soren. Hello, Ike. Long time no see. I'm happy to see you're back. But what happened? I thought you were going to be studying for a while longer. It's a long story. What's the holdup? Get over here now. Let's go. I'll finish you in later. You probably remember that Soren's been training with another mercenary group. Well, he's back now, and he has some unbelievable news. What news is that? It's Crimea and Dan. They've gone to war. War? It can't be. That's why I've called everyone here. Soren has some information. Go on, Soren. All right. Take a look at this map. Ah, it's a map of Crimea. Quite detailed from the looks of it. Yes, this is Melior, Crimea's capital. Our base of operations is right about here. Everything started three days ago. I needed to do some research, so I went to the archives of Melior's Royal Library. Without warning, the scream of a terrible beast, a wyvern perhaps, rent the air and the building was rocked by a tremor. I rushed outside and saw wave after wave of knights, cavalry, and wyvern riders, each clad in glistening ebon armor, black as night. The Dane army? Correct. Was there a provocation? As you know, relations between Crimea and Dane have never been friendly. However, the past centuries have seen only minor skirmishes, nothing that has ever approached the scale of this attack. It was brutal and without warning. Dan laid the capital waste. I've never seen such destruction on this scale before. A swift attack, devastating and brutal. A daring gambit, indeed. But if it succeeds, a very well chosen one at that. Yes, the King of Dane would not hesitate to employ such treacherous acts. What happened next? King Crimea's brother deployed the Crimean army to meet the attack. The king ordered his people to flee the city before battle reached them. Fearing the worst, I also fled and made my way here. So we don't know how the tides of battle flow now, do we? That's alright. Word of the war can't, cannot have traveled far yet. We may be the first ones to know of it out here. You did well to bring us this information, Soren. I know some risk was involved. It was nothing. Dane has invaded Crimea. We may have been mercenaries, but this still affects us. What are we going to do? That's the question of the day. How do we see? How do you see it, Titania? Crimea is the closest thing our company has to a homeland. The Crimean royal family and noble houses have been generous, providing us with many uh, lucrative jobs. From a moral standpoint as well as a business one, it's in our best interest to help Crimea. And you, Soren? I agree on one point. We are mercenaries. We are not Crimea's private militia. No coin has crossed our palms, so I think we should stay out of it. So you would have us sit and watch as Crimea is overrun? I would. Dane's troops are superior in both numbers and morale. The chances of a Crimean victory are slim indeed. 
But Crimea is ruled by King Raymond, who is known throughout the land for his wisdom, and his brother, Duke Renning, is said to possess peerless valor and courage. Dane may not find victory so easily. Valor and courage are for children's tales. In terms of military prowess, Dane's King Ashnar is every bit of Lord Renning's equal. Victory will hinge on troops, numbers, supplies, and Dane is superior in both. I think the outcome is painfully obvious. Curse you, Soren. Crimea is not doomed. If they, have, if they can turn aside Dan's initial thrust and turn into a test of endurance, while the Crimean army both demoralized and ill-prepared, they simply will not be able to hold out that long. Alright, that's enough, both of you. I hear what you say. However, I must ascertain the current situation before we decide on any action. We'll send a scouting party to get a closer look at Melior. Ike, I want you in charge of this. Assemble your men and get going. What? Me? Titania will accompany you as an advisor. Commander, you must be joking. He's just a boy, and he's barely had more than a taste of battle. What do you expect a wolf like him to accomplish? Ah, Shinnon, since you're totally concerned, you can go as well. Wait, that's not what I- Ah, oh, last. Who else? Gaytree, Riss, and Soren. That should do. Father, wait. Why do you want me- That was in order. Get moving. There's no time to waste. Yes, sir. Titania, I'm going out for a bit. I want you to give Ike some direction. Understood. Yes, sir. Ike, wait up! What? There, this is for you. The regal sword. A sword? Where did you get it? From father. He told me to come and give it to you. It's beautiful. This is the first sword you've gotten that it wasn't hand, hand me down from somebody, isn't it? That's great! What about that steel sword we got them from the village? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Well, be careful. Oh, and bring me a souvenir. Something nice. Never been to Melior before. Miss, I'm not going on vacation. Sheesh. Alright, so here's the capital way. This one is notorious for being pretty difficult, but if you use your stronger units, such as Titania, Tegatri, and Shinon, it shouldn't be any problem. Are you feeling alright, Ike? You haven't said a word in quite some time. I don't understand what my father is doing. Why put a new recruit like me in charge of something so important? You're going to succeed him as our commander one day. Don't you think he wants you to know how to lead? Me? I, I don't I don't know if I'm capable. Even if I am, that's days away. That's days a long way off. Right? I mean, I'm an I'm inexperienced, weak. I'm nothing compared to my father. I'm not so sure so sure about that. When I look at you, I see a young man full of promise. Commander Grail is a great man, but I think you'll be every bit his equal. In time, you might even surpass him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just my opinion. You need pay. You you need not pay it any mind. If your father, if yet, if you fear your own weakness, why not take this chance to go out and bear yourself? That would be more in keeping with your personality, you know. I suppose you're right. Forgive me if I'm tongue twisting my words here, because it's been a lot, a lot of dialogue. Gotta say a lot of things. How do things look over there, Sorn? Same as here. There are corpses strewn everywhere. Unfortunately, of course, due to you know dating of the game, we don't actually see these bodies. There is a quite a bit of them, especially when you consider how far we are from the capital. Are they Crimean? Judging by the armor, the vast majority of the dead are Dane soldiers. So Crimean has the upper hand. Just the opposite, I think. The Crimean soldiers were members of the Imperial Guard. That means King Raymond, or another member of the royal family, was on the move when Dane's soldiers fell on them. Could it have been Lord Renning? No, as long as the Crimean army still draws breath, Lord Renning will not leave their command. Perhaps another member of the court. We've got Dane's soldiers moving in on our location, and they don't look happy. You there, who are you? What are you doing here? We're no one you need. You're armed. Heed me. Drop your weapons and surrender. Act quickly or else. This to me, fool. You're making a mistake. We're not. Ah, you're not going to cooperate, eh? Ready your weapons, men. Move in and kill them all. <laughs> Headstrong fool. Getting caught in some scurries is not part of the plan. They're obviously not going to listen to us. Grow mercenaries. Get ready to fight. As you guys can see, there's a lot of them there. Oh my god. Alright, Ike, let's see how you handle the role of captain. Well, what are your orders, boy? 
We'll do what you say as long as you hurry up and spit it out. I know, I know, I'm thinking. Give me a moment, will you, Shinon? Ha, useless. We'd be better led with mist than this soft, untested whelp. Alright, so as you guys can see, we can't use any uh, Oscar or Boyd, but these guys should be more than enough for the job. Um, as far as items are concerned, give the hands to Titania for now. Um, the Thief Band... I can't remember. I think it's definitely Speed. I think the other one is Luck. Speed and Luck. So technically that's befitting of Gaetri. Because he could definitely use that speed, right? So I'm actually going to trade. It just helps a little bit. So I can get... Night Band, I believe, is Strength and Defense. So that should help him get the Strength and Defense. Because I, as you guys can see, it's less than Skill and Speed right now. So that should be fine. As long as Riss is not in danger, that should be fine. The Seraph Rope, I'll hold on to just in case. Actually, you know, here, we'll just give it to Boyd. Alright, so that should be fine like that. You're good. Um, so we also get Soren, he's a level 1 mage. It's funny how he's kind of like this guy who, you know, is very smart and you know, important to the group, and yet he comes as a level 1. Even Boyd and Oscar came as higher levels, which is pretty funny. So, here's Soren, level 1 mage. Uh, he uses wind magic as his main magic, as you guys can see his weapon levels. Wind is stronger than the other two. He comes with a skill Adept, which grants him two attacks in one turn. Uh, doesn't activate all the time, in fact it hardly activates at all. So, kind of bad. Um, very fragile. He will die most likely in one shot, if not two. Uh, I never use him. I used to use him a long time ago, but I found him very weak, in my opinion. In this game, you don't really need as much magic. I mean, it's strong. Magic is strong, don't get me wrong. But to me, I like weapon users, like physical weapon users, so. Uh, Usually, I don't use too many magic users, Soren being included, but we'll see. If he turns out good, you know, level up good, then that'll be a different story, but as of right now, I don't think I will be using him. I'm gonna keep Gaetri with his two lances and his. I'm gonna have him keep the vulnerabilities just in case. Um, I don't think Ike needs another sword right now, so Oscar can, can hold on to that. I'm gonna give you the other axe left for now, just in case. And that should be good. Alright. So we should be set. Uh, but I am going to end it here for now. Um, thank you guys for watching though. We got through five, four chapters. So prologue, chapter one, two, three. Yeah, so there you go. Four chapters so far. Uh, now we are on chapter four, which would be our fifth one. But yeah, things are pretty, turning out pretty good. Obviously this is just the beginning stuff, so it's not like it's super complicated. Uh, this chapter will probably be the first one. That will be more difficult, but we'll see. Like I said, as long as we use our, you know, stronger units first, we should be all right. Not to mention, I got a couple good levels, uh, and we still have Titania in the back as well. I mean, these soldiers aren't ex exactly super strong, so we shouldn't have any issues. But uh, yeah, so. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment down below what you guys thought, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to keep up with me in this Iron Man run, as well as other content as well. But for now, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, I again, I just want to say I just love this game. As you guys can see, everything looks pretty clear still uh, for a GameCube game, by the way. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. I usually don't read the dialogue, so actually, um, rereading the dialogue now, I'm actually enjoying the story even more because it's been a while since I've read it in full. Usually, you get the gist of it, and I kind of just get the dialogue because I already know majority of the story. But reading it all again, it's actually nice. So, if you guys are enjoying that, let me know. And then, of course, if you're not enjoying it, do apologize. But I am going to read everything just like I did with. Blazing Sword and Sacred Stones. So, 
if you guys didn't see those, uh, check out my playlist on my channel. Um, I had I did all those Iron Man runs as well on hard mode. Um, I did uh, Hector's hard mode Iron Man for Blazing Sword, and then of course I did Erica's hard mode uh, for Sacred Stones, and we finished the Lagdow runes as well one time through. So be sure to check those out if you haven't already. Um, otherwise, catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.